Niku. Using Hawaii's Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, a team of scientists discovered the presence of a mysterious object located close to Neptune. The scientists nicknamed it Niku, a Chinese word meaning rebellious. The object is 160,000 times fainter than Neptune and has a diameter of only 125 miles. Niku has been spotted 22 times throughout history. Several theories have been presented to explain its origin, ranging from a hidden planet to an unseen star. Still, none fully explain its odd behavior. Niku's most remarkable unexplained characteristic is its unusual orbit on a plane tilted 110 degrees from the solar system. Unlike most other objects, which orbit in the same direction as the solar system, Niku's orbit is in retrograde, hence the rebellious nickname. The backward orbit and tilted nature of Niku are similar to another mysterious object nicknamed Drac. Motivated by the discovery, several scientists investigated whether objects with similar orbital characteristics were listed in the Minor Planet Center database. This spreadsheet is filled with information about a thousand small bodies in the entire solar system. The researchers discovered that four other objects had similar retrograde or semi-retrograde orbits and were also tilted. Two of them orbited between Jupiter and Neptune. The biggest surprise that arose from the investigation is that all six of these objects appeared to orbit with a common plane. The items are aligned, not randomly distributed along the sky. After performing computer simulations, the researchers found possible proof that Niku and Drac had been in that orbit for hundreds of millions of years. It's still unknown why these six objects cluster together, despite being so far away from each other. Astrophysicists Konstantin Batygin and Michael Brown recently concluded that they may have been scattered off-kilter from the rest of the solar system by Planet Nine's gravitational pull. About ten times bigger than our home planet, this world is believed to be about 500 times farther away from the Sun than Earth. MU-69 MU-69, located in the Kuiper Belt, one billion miles past Pluto, is the most mysterious object ever targeted by a NASA expedition. The Arakoth object, as it's also known, was discovered on June 26, 2014, by astronomer Mark Buey and the New Horizons search team using the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA's New Horizons team snapped its first image of Arakoth, then named Ultima Thule, in August 2018, at a distance of over 100 million miles from Earth. At the time, the target remained one of several dots among a field of stars. With an orbital period of around 300 years, Arakoth is classified as a typical Kuiper Belt object. It has existed in a deep freeze in the solar system's outer reaches for at least four and a half billion years. NASA's New Horizons team flew by MU-69 on January 1st, 2019, and managed to snap images of the object, which looks like a red, partially flattened snowman. Alan Stern, the leading investigator of the New Horizons program, said after the flying mission, quote, We set a record. Never before has a spacecraft explored something so far away. I mean, think of it. We're a billion miles further than Pluto, and now we're going to keep going into the Kuiper Belt. Unlike anything ever seen before, the object's strange shape was the biggest surprise of the flyby. Mark Buey strongly believes that, quote, Data from the newly named Arakoth has given us clues about the formation of planets and our cosmic origins. We believe this ancient body, composed of two distinct lobes that merged into one entity, may harbor answers that contribute to our understanding of the origin of life on Earth. Wow Mystery Object Right before midnight on August 15th, 1977, Dr. Jerry Amon detected an unusual radio blast while scanning the stars for possible alien life signs. The 72-second long signal was detected with a radio telescope known as Big Ears at the Ohio State University Radio Observatory in Delaware. It seemed to be coming from Sagittarius, but didn't match with any celestial object. The signal was so strange and powerful that Amon circled it on a readout and scribbled WOW next to it. For years, people pointed to the signal as evidence of aliens. But Professor Antonio Paris, an astronomer at St. Petersburg College in Florida, believes that the signal didn't come from aliens. According to his theory, the signal came from two comets flying near Earth on that day. After going back through all the records and documents of that night, Professor Paris found that comets 66P slash Christensen and P slash 2008Y2 were both in the same area when the WOW signal was first detected. The scientist suggests that a thick cloud of hydrogen in the wake of the comet's passing is what triggered this powerful and eerie signal. 
To prove his theory, Professor Paris waited for the same comets to fly past Earth again in 2017, as they do every seven years or so. He noted that the comets produced that same kind of strong signal as the one detected in 1977, putting an end to the four-decade-long mystery that perplexed scientists and conspiracy theorists alike. Professor Paris also pointed out that the comets had only been discovered in 2006, and therefore were not fully accounted for during the original signal emission. But even if it wasn't these same comets, it's highly likely that another comet of similar proportions is the culprit. Astronomers cannot explain why the mysterious comets produce such signals. However, they've noticed that the WOW signal has a frequency similar to that of its hydrogen clouds. Planet 9 Update For the past few years, the likelihood of a new and giant planet floating around in the solar system's outermost regions has tantalized scientists and the public alike. Its name is Planet 9, and it's hypothetically located in the solar system's outer region. This hypothetical supersized planet is said to have a predicted mass of 5 to 10 times the Earth's size. Several theories surround Planet 9's existence. Aforementioned doctors Constantine Batygin and Michael E. Brown have suggested that Planet 9 could be the core of a giant planet ejected from its original orbit by Jupiter during the solar system's genesis. Others proposed that the planet was captured by another star, was once a rogue planet, or that it formed on a distant orbit, and was pulled into an eccentric orbit by a passing star. In 2017, a group of researchers at the Australian National University's Siding Spring Observatory, led by astronomer Brad Tucker, widened their effort to find Planet 9. Scientists began a program that encouraged citizen volunteers to identify and classify space objects. Dr. Tucker stated that over 60,000 people worldwide had classified over 4 million objects in space as part of the ANU-led citizen search program. The project published thousands of images taken by its telescope, SkyMapper, which volunteers analyzed to find new objects. The project appears to be a success. According to Dr. Tucker, quote, with the help of tens of thousands of dedicated volunteers sifting through hundreds of thousands of images taken by SkyMapper, we've achieved four years of scientific analysis in under three days. One of the volunteers, Mr. Tony Roberts, even made 12,000 classifications. And while the elusive Planet 9 remains undiscovered, four previously unknown objects have been found. According to astronomers, they have characteristics that make them contenders for a new planet in the solar system. Dr. Tucker, the lead researcher for the program, said, quote, We've detected minor planets Chiron and Comacina, which demonstrates the approach we're taking could find Planet 9 if it's there. So does Planet 9 really exist? The jury's still out. 16 Psyche 16 Psyche isn't your typical space rock. This metal asteroid is believed to be made entirely of iron and nickel, similar to the Earth's core. It's also one of the biggest objects in the main asteroid belt, orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. Its materials have led astronomers to hypothesize that 16 Psyche is the core of a prior Mars-sized planet that has since lost its outer layers of rock. At 130 miles in diameter, its metal deposits are worth an astounding 10,000 quadrillion dollars, 93,500 times the world's GDP. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, study lead author Tracy Becker of the Southwest Research Institute and her team analyzed the asteroid in greater detail than ever before. The results were published in a thorough study in the Planetary Science Journal in October 2020. As Becker said in a statement, quote, We've seen meteorites that are mostly metal, but Psyche could be unique in that it might be an asteroid that is totally made of iron and nickel. The paper was written as NASA is preparing to launch a spacecraft, also dubbed Psyche, that will travel to the mysterious asteroid as part of an effort to understand the origin of several planetary cores. Psyche's principal investigator, Lindy Elkins Tanton, commented, quote, This is an opportunity to explore a new type of world, not one of rock or ice, but of metal. The robotic mission's launch was moved up to 2022, and after a Mars gravity boost in 2023, it will reach Psyche in 2026. NASA has no plans to bring 16 Psyche to Earth, and lacks the technology to mine it for its valuable metals. The scientists stated in 2017 that they don't plan to take advantage of the value of the asteroid's composition. Their sole mission is uncovering the mystery that surrounds 16 Psyche. As Carol Polanski, project scientist for the Psyche mission, stated in an interview, quote, We're going to learn about planetary formation, but we're not going to be trying to bring any of this material back and using it for industry.